When I hopped onto YouTube this morning, I was surprised and delighted to find out that the channel now has 5,000 subscribers. I wanted to do a brief video to say thank you so much for the support and give a little update on the channel going forward. I wanted to do this as a video rather than a community post, partly because it would be nice and partly because I know some of my subscribers are visually impaired and this way might be more accessible to them. So, first of all, 5,000 subscribers is a big deal to me, especially given that the bulk of you have only joined since I started uploading audiobooks in late 2021. I really love reading the comments on these audiobooks, especially the ones that say they're helping you through a difficult period in your life, and those that tell me that they had this audiobook when they were a child, and they're now sharing their audiobook with their own children. Those really make me smile, so thank you for that. I do think that archiving and preserving media like these children's audiobooks is important so that they won't be lost to time, as so much often is. I've seen this firsthand looking for audiobooks from my childhood and for those that you, the subscribers, asked me to find, only to discover that they have apparently disappeared off the face of the earth. I ran across a subreddit a little while ago called Lost Media, and one of the threads was about one of the audiobooks on the request list, which seems to not be available anywhere anymore. I don't know exactly why this happens, but I suppose that a lot of these titles were only given out to libraries, who then sold those cassettes or CDs off when they were withdrawn to private individuals, and over time these get damaged and just stop playing. Cassette tapes wear out and snap, and CDs have something called disc rot, which just sounds appalling. There is one video that I want to address from back in my hair tutorial days, and that is the video I made on how to create and wear a paranda back in 2012. The reason I'm bringing this up is that despite the fact that that video was made 12 years ago at this point, it is still consistently in the top 10 videos that have been watched in that week. So I do think that I should talk about it. Uh, Paranda is a South Asian hair accessory. And with hindsight, I do agree that white women wearing it is culture appropriation and that should not be encouraged. The reason I'm not taking that video down is that the analytics tell me that the audience reach for that video is people from those countries and communities who want to learn how to make and wear a paranda as part of their own cultural dress. But please, if you are a white woman, don't do it. So, about the channel going forward. The descriptions of each video give you the blurb of the audiobook, title, author, narrator, whether it's part of a series, and whether it's abridged or complete and unabridged, or a dramatisation. Underneath that, I used to have lists of other titles on the channel from that writer, narrator, or series, etc. But as more videos were added, this became too difficult to maintain. Instead, you will now see playlists linked which will contain that same information and mean I don't have to edit every video description individually each time something new is added. Now, I was going to save this announcement until Friday 15th of November because that's my birthday and it's a big one ending in a zero, but I'm excited and now seems a good time too. I wanted to create a sort of advent calendar to mark December and so there is going to be one new audiobook released every day of the month for the whole of December. They're already scheduled and ready to go. I put a poll on the community page a few days ago asking whether I should increase my upload schedule to two videos a week instead of just one and the results have been hugely in favour of it. So from January there will be a new upload every Wednesday and every Saturday. I also wanted to talk about monetization and advertising. This channel is not monetized and I do not want to monetize it. The audiobooks I'm uploading are not my original content, they are written by and narrated by other people, so I don't want to get revenue from that, it makes me quite uncomfortable to think about. This channel is for out of print audiobooks only, meaning those ones that aren't available to be purchased brand new anymore in the UK. And I never want to imply in any way that all these books are somehow just down to me when that's just not the case. Although these audiobooks are out of print, I do sometimes run across copyright claims which I have to respect. 
For example, the unabridged edition of The Engine in the Cupboard, written and read by Lynn Reed Banks, was on the request list for a long time, so I was thrilled to bits when I actually tracked it down. However, when I uploaded it, it was copyright claimed by the publishers, Penguin Random House, and blocked globally, which is fair enough. I'm afraid that if you want to listen to that one, you're going to have to find a copy yourself, although I am hopeful that this means they might be re-releasing the audiobook on a digital platform like Audible in the future. But who knows? I don't know. I don't work in publishing. Having said all that about how this channel is not monetized and I do not make money from these videos, you will have noticed that there are adverts all over them. I do not want those adverts there. I did not put them there and I cannot take them off. I know how annoying they are and if I could do something about them, I would. I wish YouTube had the option for a creator to say, no, I don't want adverts on this, don't put adverts on it, but that's not an option. YouTube is an ad-driven business, they earn money by showing you adverts, and to be frank, it's getting pretty ridiculous. The number and length of adverts also varies depending on whether you're watching videos on your phone, computer or smart TV. And this year YouTube banned ad blockers altogether in an effort to try to get people to sign up for YouTube Premium, which personally I think is too expensive. So I'm really sorry, but we're stuck with the adverts. There is a coffee page for out of print audiobooks linked in the description, where if you want to, you can make a donation towards the channel, which goes towards buying the audiobooks on the request list. You can do so for any amount that is affordable to you. It's not a subscription or anything, it's a one-off payment that can be as little as one pound. And the audiobook that I'm currently looking at purchasing will be shown under the goal section. I'm also going to try and update the request list every month, both on the coffee page and the community page. Would it be easier for people if the request list were in the form of a video? Let me know. Anyway, I've been rambling on for far too long for what was supposed to be a simple thank you video, so I'm going to leave it here. Thank you, thank you so much for being a subscriber to this channel. Thank you for your own requests for out of print audiobooks. I have a lot of fun tracking those down. And thank you for all those comments that let me know how much you enjoy these audiobooks. Long live nostalgia.